The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. four-yard line. Really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in a one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double-team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Jumbo set. Nice run up the middle. From the 17 yard line. Second down. six-yard completion, and we'll have first and ten coming up. Heads-up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. tackled at the 12. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Quick strike and he drops it. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Stanford could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it's good. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep, and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Demon Deacons on this offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have these tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Tackles him for a loss. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 26-yard line. He sails it long. Got it at the 30. Tackle at the 24-yard line. Let's go. Check, check back, back, check back, back. Deep ball, laying it out there. He's in. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. <laughs> and 
and he hits the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Wake Forest to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He makes his way to about the 38. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. From their own 38-yard line, first down. And they come out in a goal line set. That's a great tackle at the 35. That's a loss of three yards. On the that brings up second and 13. Yard line. That's a D1. That brings us third and 12. Man left, man left. Third and 12. Ball on the 36 yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 28. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Wake Forest's offense deserves all the credit in the world. You come into a crowd like this, and they didn't keep them from doing the job at hand. They got points on that opening march. Just really impressive. It, considering this is, I think, one of the toughest environments in all the college football, that's a job well done. Now they've got to continue to try to build off of that opening drive. Wake Forest is up four. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. So the sack makes this a second and long. Throw out to the receiver, and down he goes at the 46. Number two with the tackle. And they make the stop around the 39 yard line. Throws in the middle. Right down. Right around the 38 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Two down, two down. Watch 25. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Number nine with the tackle at the 32 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Caught out of the open, and he's taken down around the 20-yard line. Number 15 makes the set at the 20-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Check back 11, check back 11. He's taken down at the 20. Second and 10. Ball on the 20. Mike 17. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 7 3. Wait for it. Let's pick it up. Out of time, guys. Out of time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. 
And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Wake Forest is up by four. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green. And he is drilled at the 23-yard line. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check Mike, 11, check Mike, 11. Check. Oh, shit. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. He is such a talented, skillful back, as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And now he's got room to run. He makes his way to about the 42. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. From their own 42-yard line, first down. They're packed in tight on the line. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Right, 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 right. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we go, Mike. Here we go. Black with the foot. Gets to around the 42. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble, and he hits him hard at the 50. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him, or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 39 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to mic the 48 right now. Let's go. He lost the ball, picks up the fumble. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. That was awful. Come on. You guys can do better than that. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackle after positive yardage. That's a gain of four on the ball. That makes it second and six. Let me know right now. You better bring Mike 17. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. Kill, kill, kill. Shift, shift. That's a backward pass. That's a live ball. Scoops it up. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, 
It's second down. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Steps out of bounds. Around the 50-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Makes it out to about the 39. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. He fights forward to about the 39. Makes it to the 31. for a very long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He's going to air it long. And this one's broken up. Brad, this corner just made a great play on the football. Do you wonder if he's starting to maybe get into the mindset of this quarterback, and maybe the quarterback's going to look in the other direction to try to come up with a completion. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 35-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at midfield. It's the sophomore that's got it. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. And he's hit immediately. Stanford's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 37-yard line, first down. Tailback. On the pass, 
Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wake Forest offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle at the 34. A very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration oh, and get his hands on the four. football. Go. Going long. He goes up. Picked off. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the eight-yard line. He's on the run. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. 17-10, Demon Deacons. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ms. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Wake Forest is up seven. Nice run, and he's run down. He's at midfield. And they bring him down at the 37. I thought he was gone once he got past the line. The burst of speed that he has is just incredible. receiver it's the sophomore and down he goes around the 25 yard line and he makes it out to about the 24 yard line hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. 
kill, kill, kill. Green, 15. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 14-yard line. First down. Fires out to his receiver. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Up by seven and looking at first and goal. Check back 11. Check back 11. Let's go, tight end. Let's go right here now. Red two. Red seven. Red seven. That's a great tackle at the two. Defense in their short yardage package. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Wake Forest is up a score. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 44. They line up in the jumbo set. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That brings up second and 13. Third and five. Ball on the 49. Slings it to his tight end, but he drops it. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Demon Deacons on this have shown here in the third quarter. They're not content to just sit on that lead they built in the first half. Well, they did a nice job in the first half, but the adjustments that they made at halftime have allowed them to find some matchups to their advantage, and they've taken uh, full advantage of that. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. That makes it first and ten. And he's taken down the 33-yard line. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. He's taken down at about the 29-yard line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make the quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Black five, black five. 
He's to the 40. Throws a strike over the middle. And he is drilled at the 47-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Makes it to the 22-yard line. That's, That's a gain, a gain of, two of two on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it second from their own 22-yard line. Second down. And they hit him in the backfield. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. First and ten, ball on the 32. They come out in a goal line set. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. That makes, that makes it second, second and 14. 14. one is a beauty and he's taken down at the 31 yard line the quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play One to go. Wake Forest is in front by 14. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. it to the 38-yard line. Tackle made at about the 35. Good solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. They're stacking the line. At like they're coming after this punt. Booming kick. He's out to the 30, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. to around the 42. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. 
catch. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. And he tackles him hard at the 29. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They still play a sock. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That's a Just under three to go in regulation. Gets it out quickly. He's out of bounds at the 15. And he just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. That'll make it third and 13. This is the 10th play of this drive. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. End zone. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After, After review of the play... play the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field is, reversed. is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Stanford will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. After positive yardage. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Stanford's called their final timeout. Nice run up the middle. Gain of five, five on the play. play. Oh, First, First down. down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Green 15. And they'll bring him down behind the line.
He's tackled at the 48. From the 48-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Red seven, red seven, go! You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. Demon Deacons on this gets the victory, 24-10. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.